good morning to everybody let me first introduce to you myself myself is pritas sir from tapasvi classes junagadh i have been teaching english subject in tapasvi classes for the last 11 years in both the mediums gujarati as well as in english medium before we proceed let me tell you three things first of all i heartily congratulate you all for a wonderful success in standard 10 Second, I heartily welcome you all in Tapasvi classes, and third, wish you all the best for your commerce career. Now, let's have the glimpse of the whole subject, 11th Standard English, First Language (NCERT) General Stream. Uh, before we start, just try to recall your tenth. What was there in your tenth, as far as the English subject is concerned, uh, as far as your textbook your grammar and also the composition part right all three departments just try to recall and also compare with this 11th standard and also i am going to tell you about the 12th as well right so you do come to know right from the first lecture onwards that what is in your 11th and what will be in your 12th right uh before i start i want to tell you one more thing Uh, students generally consider 11th standard as a local because exams are taken or conducted locally so marks are not important very much but let me tell you one more thing that exams are conducted locally that's right but the base should be strong 11th standard is the base and you do require to have your base strong right so if you want to get the good percentage in 12 your best should be strong so do not skip 11 standard no way right this is the best you do need to learn your 11 perfectly second thing i want to tell you that what is in 11th it will be asked in your 12th board exam as well so students generally think that uh, what will be in 12 it will be asked in 12 board exam no way no what is in 11th it will be added to your 12 and it will be asked from both the years it will be asked in your board exam mind this so 11th standard is utmost necessary you are right one thing uh, is correct that textbook will be changed but as far as the grammar part and the composition part is concerned it will not be changed for take an example in grammar part i have written here direct indirect so if you consider 11 standards direct indirect is the same as the 12th it will be asked in paragraph in the board exams uh, and you had in 10th as well the same kind of a question of direct indirect it was asked in paragraph right so you can't skip 11 standard right the importance of 11 you should consider first now let's begin Uh, in 11th standard we have two textbook and in 12th standard as well we have two textbooks one as a main textbook and another as a supplementary reader we have hornbill as a main textbook and in that hornbill hornbill book we have eight prose available and five poems uh, in supplementary reader snapshots we have eight prose available but no poems sir right now i want to explain you how the poems are given in hornbill that is the most important thing right uh, in 12th standard we have flamingo book eight prose are given but the poems are given as separate section right but not in hornbill actually in hornbill the poems are given along with the prose for take an example uh, the first uh, the first unit of 11th standard is in hornbill is the portrait of a lady the portrait means a photograph a drawing or a picture now along with this unit we have along with this prose we have a poem called a photograph thematic poems are added with the prose now just like the prose we have the same kind of a poem along with that unit the unit name is the portrait of a lady and the poem name is a photograph thematic poems right so along with the prose the poems are given but not here 
here the poems are given as a separate section just like uh, you had in uh, 8 9 and 10 standard right so this is called the textbook portion right <clears throat> now let's move on to the grammar section but before i start the grammar section i want to tell you one thing actually i have seen english medium students are very afraid of uh, this grammar section but let me clear to you one thing uh, and it's very important that out of these three sections out of these three parts actually now this part only the grammar part is the one which can give you the full marks mind this which can give you the full marks because in grammar section if the concepts are clear uh, if the concepts of the topics are very clear then and then you can get full marks of this grammar topics right first of all again just recall what was there in your 10th and compare with this 11th standard as well as your 12th uh, actually i have written this part of 12 actually right uh, not of 11 but we do need to follow the 12th right from the beginning of 11 right this is the best first question uh, first question is rectifications of errors uh, remember what was there in your 10th the same kind of a uh, question will be asked in 11 as well as in 12 rectifications of error uh, one of the paragraphs is given with the separate sentences right you have to find uh, where the error is and you have to make the correction of that word as well right uh, maybe around four or five marks of error was there in your 10th just like that four or five marks of error rectifications of error will be there in your 11 as well as in your 12. Now second thing rewrite the sentences using the correct meaning of the given phrases or idioms. Now here in your 10th standard you had uh, blanks you had blanks of articles uh, conjunctions and prepositions right uh, but here instead of blanks we, we what we have to do actually is to you have you will have given a sentence and in that sentence uh, one of the word or one of the words a uh, group of words will be underlined and into bracket you are given three meanings now what you have to do is to find out the exact meaning of that phrase or idioms that was underlined in the sentence right uh, so but the options are given in the bracket now let's move on further punctuate the paragraph uh, you had in your 10th as well the punctuation marks the commas inverted commas question exclamatory mark right semicolon everything what was there in your 10th uh, it will be in your 11th as well as in your 10th but something added something added uh, for take an example rectifications of error uh, was there in your 10th it is in 11th and it will be in your 10th uh, sorry 12th but somewhat added each year somewhat added for take an example uh, you had uh, simple present tense in your 8th right simple present tense in your 9th and simple present tense in your 10th but somewhat somewhat added somewhat upgradation there in each and every year as as and when you grow the each and every year you get the upgradation right now let's move further direct indirect that's what i had said earlier as well uh, direct indirect you will be asked a paragraph the same as in your 10th but something added to that as well now most time the part of the grammar is do as directed do in this do as directed we have transformation of the sentences uh, seven marks or something like that in your 12th transformation of sentences were there in your 10th as well but limited topics uh, were asked in the examinations for take an example 10 topics uh, were asked in 10th but now in 11th it will move on further right so 15 topics and in your 12th it will move on further with 20 topics right so transformation of sentences the same topic was there in 10th the same topic is in 11 and the same topic will be in 12 but something added some topics are added to that right 
Now this is called a grammar part. <clears throat> Now let's move on to the composition part. The first thing in the composition part is not making from the passage. Now first of all, let me explain to you what is not making. Uh, for take an example, if you are a journalist and you are attending the press conference of Amit Shah, right? And what is Uh, what is going on uh, in the speech of Amit Shah? You can't write word to word, right? So what you uh, what you need to do is to point out the important topics, important points, important notes that Amit Shah is speaking, right? So the speech is going on, the speech is going on, but you can't write word to word. So this is called the not making. That means you noted down, noted down the important things that that is spoken by the speaker. Right, that is the point of not making. Now, in the place of not making, you do have data analysis as well. Now, what do you need to do in data analysis? First of all, uh, in the paper, you are given maybe a graph, or maybe a chart, or maybe a diagram, or something like that. Uh, some information is given through diagram. Or anything else, a graph, right? Anything else. Now, what you need to do is to uh, gather information from that graph. What the graph want to suggest to you? What the diagram want to tell you? Right? What is the information in that graph? What is the main points in that diagram that is given to you in paper? And write it down in your own words. In your own words, with the sentences just like eight or ten sentences, right? So, not making, and in the place of not making, you have data analysis. Now, next point. Next point is email writing. We have two types of email writings: first, formal email writing, and informal email writing. Now, let me explain to you what is formal email writing. Formal email writing is the email which is written to Either company, industry, or any offices, just like municipality office, uh, it is somewhat complaint or somewhat request or somewhat inquiry, uh, right? This is called the formal email writing. And in the informal email writing, uh, we write to the relatives, family members, friends, with the general topics, right? For the invitation. For the thank you very much, for suggestion, uh, for congratulation, right? So this kind of email are included in informal. Now next is in the place of email writing, we have advertisement. Now nowadays in this modern era, uh, without without advertisement, we can't move on, right? If you want to start a new business, you do need to you do need to require you require. An advertisement. Now, just like we have, we have classes. So, we want to progress, right? And if we want to progress, then we have to uh, flash banners. We have to use flash banners, pamphlets, right? Advertising, uh, just like in Blue Star and this City Cable, right? So, all these things we do need to do for better business, right? So, if you want to start a new business or uh, if you want to progress, then do some advertisement, right? Do some advertisement. Do some designing work, right? Presentation work, right? Just like we do in uh, PPT work in computer, right? So, this is called the advertisement part. Now, next is report writing, and in the place of report writing, we have article writing. So, I would like to explain to you both. First of all, report writing. Uh, what is report writing, right? Report writing is the thing which can be written for both one the incident happened already, and the one that incident will happen in future time. So most of the report writing are based on the incident happened. Now, for take an example, if you are a reporter of a Gujarat Samachar or a Sandes, right? What you require to do is to Check the information of today's news of corona, right? Or maybe accident occurred 
or maybe fire took place in some houses. Now, what you require to do is, at the end of the day, you need to uh, gather the whole information of that incident and write it down. And the, in the next day, we uh, we read in newspapers, we read in some magazines as well, right? Uh, and as far as the students are concerned, you do need to write for your school magazine, your school notice board, right? This is called the report writing. Or in the place of report writing, we have article writing. Uh, now, as far as the article writing is concerned, I want to tell you. It's called creative writing as well. For take an example, uh, if you if you want to make some story for a magazine, right, or for a school magazine, right, so it it requires your creative skills of making story, right? Uh, just like we have a safari, a wonderful magazine, right? Wonderful informative magazine. Uh, we have so many creative creative stories there, right? So this is called article writing. But I have forgotten to explain to you in report writing that uh, some incident which will happen in future uh, also described, also written as a report, right? Uh, for example, uh, 15 August is coming on, right? So uh, we will have a wonderful occasion of 15 August uh, in our Junagadh city. That's all. That's what the report, right? That's what the report for future as well, right? It is going to be celebrated in this way and that way. This is called the report in the newspaper uh, before 15 August, right? So incident, it will be happen in future time. It is also a report, right? Now next, next is a job application. Wonderful topic. Wonderful topic, job application. After come after fulfillment of the, your education, when you go for a job, you do require to have a handwritten application for a job at the place wherever you go, wherever you go, you do require to re write a handwritten application for that job. So it's a wonderful format with the fixed format, right? And if you learn here onwards right from the 11th standard you can't forget in your whole life this is the wonderful and easiest thing ever now next essay writing uh, in 11 and 12 standard essays generally can be asked from the textual base point uh, thematic uh, thematic essays can be asked thematic essays of textual can be asked in 11 and 12 and in the place of essay writing, we have speech writing. Actually, speech is not the topic of writing. But here, the speech is given as the topic of writing. Actually, the speech is the topic of speaking rather than writing. So, I want to conclude my speech, right? This is the first lecture of English subject, first language, NCRT. Uh, I just glimpse i just give you the glimpse of the whole 11 and whole 12 you should you should not consider this just for the 11th standard only this is for the 12th as well because i have also i also given the uh, information about the textbook as well okay now i conclude my speech have a nice day goodbye Tara.